Oh my gosh, this is such a convoluted thing, but even though we are the previous Sith Lord, we're trying to be good, so we don't want to say that we're the previous Sith Lord because we're trying to adopt a new identity, so, but we're on Korriban and we need to get into the Sith Academy, so us, the previous Sith Lord, who's, are, we are masquer masquerading as just a lowly Jedi who wants to become a Sith, so we have to talk to the, the lady who's in charge of selecting people to enter the Sith Academy so we can pretend to be a student of the Sith Academy to get in and then find the star map that we've already seen in our previous life. It's just a whole thing now. <laughs> she is very sexy. Let's go to Yavin. We're going. <gasps> Whoa! Don't get too close to that big ol' sun! I'm scared for us. Whoa. <gasps> Where are we? Hey Garth. Glad you're still with me, buddy. Okay, let's let's turn up the sound for movies. So many kids come. I'm so glad they're still here. Yay! No, I need to save. Dang it. Okay. Okay, we'll bring Juhani and Big Z. Here we go! Oh, it's DLC! Oh! Got it, that makes so much sense. Okay, so this is just a DLC store. I don't think we need to be here. Get me out of here! Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. I guess to Korriban? I didn't realize we were that close to, like, finishing the game. Like, what? What? Also, is it Korriban or Korriban? Oh my gosh, we can't go back to Dantooine because it's been destroyed. <gasps> oh, that's horrible. I was like, oh, there's a glitch. It's like not letting me click on it. That's horrible. We only have one place left to go. Oh no. Cora Bay. <laughs> Corrible. That's okay. I don't need store stuff. We're good. <laughs> Coraban. Coraban. Whatever it's called. Corypheus? Coryphonus? Hmm? Coniferous! Player <laughs> star. Corypheus fish! <laughs> yes, exactly. Dream time! Is this the final piece of the map, y'all? Oh boy! Wow, this is beautiful! Dang, oh, that lens flare. Oh, wow. I love that they just did that. <laughs> okay, we made it. I'm just so excited for more story time. I don't have time to go to stores. Shopping? What? Bring it on. Yeah. All right, team, look alive. Oops! No! Add. Add. Go. <laughs> wow. 
I, I, Liliana just noped out of, uh, out of Korriban there. Like, I'd rather not, actually. I see, I see. Another Jedi come to small Korriban, yes? Glad to meet you. How do you know I'm a Jedi? Well, uh, from the lightsaber you're carrying, naturally. Only Jedi carry ones like that, correct? There are many people who come to Korriban from throughout Sith space, hoping to join the Academy. Some of them are Jedi who have left the Order. You will get t t into the Academy for certain. I understand Jedi who have left the light side are very welcome. What's this Academy you mentioned? Oh? I thought that would have been why you came here. <laughs> There's a Sith Academy just outside of Dresh Day, where they train their students and such. But enough about that, it's very nice to see the Ebon Hawk has returned. I've not seen that ship for some time indeed. Since you're a regular to our little colony, the docking fee is only 25 credits. You know of the Ebon Hawk? But of course! There was a time when that ship used to dock here on a weekly basis. It's changed hands then, has it? Oh, well, that happens. Here's the 25 credits. Excellent. Continue on through. Please be aware that the colony is under Sith jurisdiction. I'd advise you stay out of their way. I'll be on my way. Enjoy your stay in Dresh Day. Oh no, it looks like some terrible things are happening already. Right, right behind us here. Here we go! Our quest is vain! <laughs> no, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Please, Master Shardon, give us a chance. We'll do anything to get into the Academy. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. Though the lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Thank you, Shardan. We, we understand now. No, you don't understand. Oh, no. Probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. Uh, hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get into the academy, are you not? Me? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive Yes. Thing. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Oh my gosh! <laughs> just walk into the academy and go, I am ready. <laughs> Bow to me, you fools! <laughs> Why are you asking? No. Why? What did they do? We didn't do anything. Please, help us. Silence. It's not what they did so much as what they didn't do, which is prove themselves worthy. I'm exhausted from dealing with their mewlings, so please decide for me, will you? We have to decide? <laughs> let them go? Yeah, let them go. That's my decision. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? Because I'm Darth Revan, and I'm telling you to let them go. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. I don't think that we want to just bust in here saying that. They aren't worth your time. No, I think it's you who isn't worth my time. Oh no! Them I prefer to kill. Just feel lucky I don't squish you while I'm at it. No! Yeah! Oh, we messed up there, folks. We gained light side points, but we failed. We not won, won that persuasion check. Ah, uh, we tried. <laughs> Hard decisions here. Do you act on light side and risk blowing your cover or compromising your morale? Wait, are we our cover? Do we need a cover? What is going on here? 
I guess this is the Sith Academy and we're like supposed to pretend like we want to join. Greetings! Welcome to Coravan. If there's anything you need, you can talk to me. Uh, not right now, thank you. Thanks for dropping by! Worst thing in an RPG, I know. my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. Me? I don't believe I've seen any of them before. Have you? Oh, gosh. I hate Jedi. And these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the Academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that? Hmm? I don't think there's any need for hostilities. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho! Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Classic bully behavior. Maybe we should have name dropped after all. <laughs> From left hand to Sith Lord. Dang it. Okay, what do we got? Oh my gosh, six options. Do you know who I am? These two Mandalorians are out in the woods. Oh no, there's no way. We're not gonna dance for them. I'm not looking for trouble, but I'm not here to amuse you. Oh, I see. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? We are trying to be nice. Looks like this one's not afraid of you at all, Lasho. Are you going to let us be insulted? Oh, get over yourself already. I'm tired of this. Yeah, this one's got some backbone at least. Let's go. Fine. Hey. I'll deal with you later. Nailed it! We don't play those games. We're mature. To Corbin. Oh, Cantina! Perfect! Let's do that! Gotta pick the joke option! <laughs> we also might want to check out the Cantina. We did train on Terrace. This. This guy looks like a Pazak player. You, they're human. You are the one flying the Ebon Hawk now? I saw you disembarking earlier. Yes, the Ebon Hawk is my ship. Is that sh so? Well, you can tell Davik that my people are spitting plasma all plasma over this. We've been waiting for the shipment for a month now. I suppose we should be grateful that the shipment survived Terrace after all, though, right? Anyway, hand it over and let's finish this. Uh, Hand what over? What are you talking about? Wait a minute, don't you work for Davik? Just how is it you happen to be flying the Ebon Hawk anyway? Davik's dead, I presume. I stole the Ebon Hawk from him. Well, when a planet explodes, you've got to expect a few changes. Davik's dead, hey? Maybe you can still help me with something. We had arranged for several kilograms of spice to be shipped to us here aboard the Ebon Hawk. Perhaps Davik left it on board. I suspect if it is, it would be in the container we gave him. Locked and requiring a code. Might you have seen such a thing, human? I have no idea. I have no idea! Um, there's nothing like that on the ship, as far as I know. Are you sure? The people I represent could make it well worth your while. How well worth my while? I do have to save up for some fancy gear at some point. 1,000 credits, and perhaps more if you're interested. What do you say to that? I could take a look for it. Excellent. Set the code on the container to red 47. When you get the spice, bring it to me here. I'll wait for you. Hey! Okay, let's see how expensive this, uh, this gear is. We're looking for a Rodian. Thought. Oh, Micah! Hello! Greetings, Sentient. You are the owner of the Ebon Hawk, yes? Or its latest owner, at least. I'm honored to meet you. I am Mik Micah Doran, manager of this establishment. Is there something you're needing, Sentient? The owner of the Ebon Hawk is always welcome in the Dresde Cantina. Hey, special items! Okay, we gotta get the special materials! Ziagram says you sell, uh, special items. You know. 
Wink, wink. Ah, uh, yes, to the right buyer. Traditionally, the owner of the Ebon Hawk has been the contact for any... For all my transactions, oh. But in the past, the owner was always affiliated with the exchange. <gasps> Crazy Bob Man! That was why Ziagram did not approach you earlier. We had no idea who you were or if we wanted to do business with you. Of course it's all changed now, Lord Revan. I'm glad you've seen the light. The light? A fine jest, though it contains a crystal of truth. We've allied with you in this conflict, and we trust you will remember us once victory is yours, Revan. What kinds of things do you have for sale? Yes, let's get straight to business. I carry only the rarest of items. Expensive, yes, but worth every credit. Weapons, armor, equipment, I carry a little of everything. The previous owners of the Ebon Hawk would often resell the items they purchased. But in your case, I imagine you might find more than a few of them quite useful against your old apprentice. Okay, we didn't even like have that hard of a time fighting him last time, but he might bring better backup this time. Hmm. Let me see your premium items. <clears throat> yes, of course. I'm sure you'll find my selection to be very interesting. Okay, finally. Just show us the goods, man. Ooh, life support pack. Okay, let's 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 just take a little uh little looky loo here. Twenty two thousand Okay, we don't have that kind of money yet. Probably ever. Oh, let's sell some stuff. Sell! Sell it all! Woo! We're rich! Suddenly we have credits! Whoa! Okay, what do we need? What do we want? This is like all our old stuff. There was that one, the strength gauntlets. I liked those. <gasps> there we go! Dominator gauntlets! Yes, I want this! I bought it! Oh my gosh! We did it! Oh yeah, and this is the saves one. Oh, we, we can't quite afford it. Mm. Okay, can we get up to 8250? I think we can. I always must think that merchants must hate when adventurers walk into their stores. Welcome to my store, can I sell you something? No, but I can offload all this junk into your store. <laughs> it's so true. Okay, we can afford it. Let's get it. Stabilizer mask. And we have 800 credits to spare. Oh yeah. I'm proud of us. Let's equip our new, our new goodies. Saves all plus two. Oh, so good. So good. Hands, there we go. Strength plus five. Plus six modifier. We're like, we're like as strong as a Wookiee now. Oh my gosh, look at her mess! Wow, embracing that Revan lifestyle yet again. That's a good point. Oh gosh, we're going into the Sith Academy. Oh, I mean, it's beautiful. C-3PO. Hi! I cannot render assistance, citizen. Move along. Okay. Let's rummage around in this box, see if anyone notices. And continue my hoarding uh, dreams here. Yes. Loot! Glorious loot! Give me all the credits. More perspective. Why does everyone want to become a Sith student? Oh my gosh, are these people okay? What is going on here? Meckle. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Oh, <laughs> can't you see that I'm wearing a very serious mask? Are you one of the Sith from the Academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. <laughs> oh. I death, however, since I asked you to leave. Wow. Dude. Oh, I spilled a little bit of my drink. Oopsies. Fine, I'll leave you alone. Good. I don't want to miss this for anything. <laughs> what is- are they- is he torturing these people? 
Hello, are you okay? Please, don't hurt me. I am too weak with hunger. What? You are neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. I guess we kind of have to say who we are. <laughs> I need to get inside. I've been sent to speak with the Master of the Academy at once. No one gets inside, citizen. Messages and deliveries must be relayed through official Sith channels only. How do I become a Sith, then? You must be admitted to the Academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yuthura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Oh, she's slacking. <sighs> it would just be so much easier to say that we are... Revan. In order to get inside the Sith Academy in Dresh Day, you will have to be approved by one of the Sith as a worthy hopeful. The one who does the deciding of which hopefuls make it is a Twilight Sith Master by the name of Yathura Ban. She can reportedly be some be sometimes found in the colony's cantina. You should check there. Okay. We are not Revan. We are not Revan. We will not succumb. We're going undercover. <laughs> it's just so ironic. Like the, the previous Sith Lord going undercover to gain entry to the Sith Academy to pretend to be a student so that we can get to the star map that we've already been to. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. She wasn't here before. That mask looks like you have googly eyes. All the persuasion failures I know. We're not doing great. Not a good track record today. The dice are against us. Yeah, we have we have a very beautiful mask. Laliana's fashion sense has really evolved. Oh my gosh, this is such a convoluted thing, but... Even though we are the previous Sith Lord, we're trying to be good, so we don't want to say that we're the previous Sith Lord because we're trying to adopt a new identity, so... But we're on Korriban and we need to get into the Sith Academy, so us, the previous Sith Lord, who's... Are, we are masquer masquerading as just a lowly Jedi who wants to become a Sith, so we have to talk to the, the lady who's in charge of selecting people to enter the Sith Academy so we can pretend to be a student of the Sith Academy to get in and then find the star map that we've already seen in our previous life. It's just a whole thing now. <laughs> she is very sexy. Let's have a little chat with uh, Yuthura Ban to see if we can get ourselves into the uh, Sith Academy. It is a lot, Lisview. It's is there a lot. Something you need, Jedi. Make it good, for I have little patience. I need to find a more fashionable mask to wear. We're like the Phantom of the Opera over here. The Revan of the Opera. He's there. Or sorry, she's there. The Revan of the Opera. Amazing. Why did you call me Jedi? You think me a fool? You think I do not recognize a lightsaber when I see it? You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Who are you, dear lady? Can I kiss your hand? Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Oops. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yathura Ban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? Maybe. We haven't broken our cover. Oh, I don't think I want to. Yes, that's exactly why I'm here. Let me join you. Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. Hmm. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. Me? So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? I'm getting... I feel like this is gonna be like the... 
undercover boss. <laughs> Did none of you watch like the Kylo Ren undercover boss uh, up or video? I thought that was hilarious. I feel like that's kind of what we're doing here. Revan undercover at the Sith Academy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, but only very little. As I thought. How interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. I mean, they were destroyed. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. What? With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps. If I let you. Does that interest you? I mean, I've heard Revan is quite the looker. <laughs> Again? I suppose that would interest me, yes. <laughs> yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. I see. Dang it. Somehow, however, I am unconvinced. No, my friend. I'll not be the one to bring you into our academy. If one of the other Sith accept you and Dang you it. Medallion, then perhaps. But otherwise, not today. Run along now. We messed up. Our persuasion skill has not been very good. <laughs> I feel a bit cheated by that. You've spoken to the Sith Master Yathura Band, but she's not yet convinced that you're the worthy to allow into the Academy. She did mention that if one of the other Sith accepted you and gave you a medallion, she might change her mind. Oh. But we have so much promise. This would probably be so much easier if we said who we were, but... Okay, we need to look at the sign. The drunk sign! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try to go find some more Sith to schmooze. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. This looks like a confrontation. As long as we can smooch people without getting a lecture about attachments, I'm in. <laughs> that is a, an amazing cantina hey, name. what's this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. Oh no. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. I don't want to pick a fight here. But we do. Isn't it obvious? Are you sure you want to die? Hey, I think that was a threat. I'm just trying to tell you. You can't win this. Why should we be scared of you? Because I've killed plenty of Sith before now. Oh no, I should not say that. No. A snot-nosed punk. Let's say that. Let's say that. Because I'm not a snot-nosed punk who's biting off more than he can chew. Okay, I've heard just about enough. Oh god, we failed again! <laughs> Sith thug leader. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Murder seems like an awful way to celebrate commencement. <laughs> not advised. Master speed. Ooh, she has force aura. Heck yeah. Yes. Oh, honey bunny. Going down. I'm yelling to you. Oh, this is kind of sad. We have to kill them. Dude, just sit chill in the middle of our fight. You don't mess with us! Okay, so they're, someone probably will have seen that and they'll be like, Whoa! She's so cool! She took all of them down! Ooh! Oh! We got a Sith medallion! Perfect! <laughs> exactly what we were looking for! <laughs> oh my gosh! Amazing! A gateway power. <laughs> uh, good one. You again. What do you wish now? Um, I have this medallion. So, one of the others accepted you even after I did not. Mm, you're lucky, human. For I'm in a forgiving mood. I will take you to the academy. And we shall see if you are yeah! ready to join the ranks of the Sith. We're ready, I lady. One other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. They are slaves, don't worry about them. I... yes, yes. We are only servants to the... the master. There is something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. 
You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Wow, that was pretty easy. <gasps> yes, I am. She is sassy. Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. <gasps> we did it! Infiltration complete! Oh no. This is Greetings, scary. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling. Hi, I'm Leliana. has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? I know the Sith are powerful, a force to be reckoned with. A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Wow. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. I never Rash turned down a dare. Fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. <laughs> nice bow. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Me? I'm ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. Oh, no. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. Okay. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the <gasps> first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. He just bowed us? Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Oh my gosh, this is exciting! We're a new student! We gotta make friends in the cafeteria and stuff. I love how they like don't suspect them at all and she's like carrying a lightsaber and he's carrying this gigantic sword. Ooh, we gotta put on our dark Jedi Knight robe now. This is so exciting! Oh my gosh! New school, who dis? Oh, it doesn't fit. Just pretend I wrote this at the end.